हेलो एवरी वन वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग शार्ट स्टोरी दट इज ट्रू हाइट द राइटर ऑफ द स्टोरी इज द वर्ल्ड फेमस प्रोफेशनल कॉमेडियन एंड द हीरो ऑफ लॉफिंग क्लब दट इज डेविड नेस्टर ही हैज रिटन थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट बुक्स ऑन लॉफिंग Uh, laughter the first one is uh, you just have to laugh you just have to laugh i can prove it this is uh, a collection of uh, short stories of different people who have come over their uh, sorrows their difficulties their problems their bad situations just like the top uh, even uh, the patients who are suffering from cancer such kind of people and how they came over their depressions this kind of uh, collection of stories uh, you can find here in this book in the same way the second book he has written uh, that is uh, the same term uh, that is uh, you just have to laugh again you just have to laugh again second uh, part of this book the same continuation of stories if you read this kind of books you get you definitely get uh, optimism in your life and happiness in your life third uh, most important book published by him uh, is a uh, shut up quit whining quit uh, whining whining means complaining enjoy your life these are the three important books written by david nastar so next this our uh, short story that is in the second unit of uh, games and sports true height it is not a true story but it looks like a true story such uh, a beautiful uh, narration is there uh, david nastar has written this story for a chicken soup teenage soul one kind of journal is there a series of a journal a series of books monthly magazines for those uh, series he has written this is true height and uh, you read the book very well and you will definitely enjoy and you will get a lot of uh, hope and optimism for your future build up don't forget to read the textbook it is very very interesting okay let us we move to the next slide to i would like to give a small introduction before uh, going into the real story so we should know some important words uh, which uh, we get uh, across the story that is athletics that is a group of sporting events that involves competitive running jumping throwing and walking you can see the symbolic uh, visuals uh, in this slide so these things the individual events uh, here uh, uh, sports men uh, sports women participate individually not as a team uh, just like uh, running jumping long jump high jump short put uh, throwing or cherry uh, swimming walking this kind of things uh, they come under athletics uh, next one what are the different kinds of olympics we have to see here olympic games uh, are uh, the greatest athletic games held every four years we know this so the origin of uh, olympic games uh, when they were started when restarted uh, on uh, the modern game started these things uh, we can discuss in some other video so in this video this much we have to learn, learn uh, they are the greatest athletic games uh, they are held every four years next uh, this olympics are of two types one is summer olympics which are held during a summer and uh, in the same way winter olympics are there summer olympics uh, this year tokyo 2020 games they are being postponed they are postponed because of uh, covid 19 uh, lockdown 
so winter olympics are there in the same way summer paralympics are there this paralympics these are the uh, here uh, athletes with a range of disabilities handicapped people who is uh, who have deformities whose uh, arms or legs or lips uh, or uh, your hearing or uh, vision or uh, mental uh, impairment that kind of persons that kind of sportsmen and women or uh, participate uh, uh, this we call this kind of olympics we call summer summer paralympics so in the same way winter paralympics are also there so next uh, another one summer uh, deaf olympics are there they are actually held for uh, people uh, who have a uh, hearing impairment or who are deaf who can't uh, listen so for that kind of people uh, for deaf athletes summer uh, deaf olympics are there in the same way winter deaf olympics are there so next one uh, summer special olympics are there special olympics uh, here uh, eight year old or older and who have an uh, intellectual disability that is mental disability or uh, mental impairment or who are uh, mentally retarded so for that kind of uh, children from 8 years old onwards so there is special kind of olympics called uh, special olympics so the same thing uh, are held in winter also we call them as winter special olympics so here uh, in this uh, lesson we are going to you know about national junior olympics they are not actually truly olympic games so these are different kinds of olympics uh, in which uh, our hero uh, our blind uh, uh, pole vaulter uh, michael stone uh, is going to participate and who is going to uh, uh, establish the world record so this is national junior olympic is an annual annual means yearly held annual track and field competition track and field again athletic competition for american athletes between the ages of 7 and 18 7 to 18 years age here our hero he participate in these games by different ages finally he established the national record uh, at uh, 17 years so yeah, i think you have understood what is meant by athletes olympics what are this uh, paralympics but this junior uh, national junior olympics uh, is quite different from uh, the main uh, olympic games this we have to understand by reading the lesson so let us uh, go to different uh, characters and uh, the actually the theme of the story this lesson uh, basically uh, moves around one athletic event that is called a pole vaulting it is a glamour event among all other athletic events among all uh, track and field events the most glamorous most interesting and the most thrilling game is a pole vaulting so here you can find uh, in this picture flexible pole is there a yeah, bar is there so on either side of the uh, poles so here uh, the athlete the sportsman sports women use a flexible pole so they run uh, uh, from a long distance uh, on the track and uh, with the help of this flexible pole they jump over the bar this we call pole vaulting it is a track and field event so here a long flexible pole a bar uh, or a required i think you have understood what is meant by pole vaulting so here in this pole vaulting uh, this is uh, one of most one of most dangerous athletic event in the world here uh, maximum number of death cases have been reported because it requires uh, a gymnastic uh, gymnastic and acrobatic uh, uh, skills if the sports person misses the balance no he may die if he falls on hard uh, ground he may lose his uh, he may fracture his uh, different parts of the body or he may lose his uh, uh, life itself that's why nowadays inflatable landing mat is used inflatable means uh, a mat a bed a cushion bed like thing it is actually air filled uh, 
uh, mat uh, even if uh, the athlete uh, the pole vaulter falls from the uh, top height about 17 18 feet height he will not uh, uh, get uh, any injuries or wounds for that purpose so in the uh, olympic games or uh, in uh, other kinds of national olympics so this kind of inflatable landing mat is used so next one is uh, on the track uh, nowadays uh, they are using uh, astro turf astro turf is two important words are there so this astro means uh, artificial uh, turf means uh, grass turf means grass this is a synthetic grass artificial grass so here actually turf means a rectangular piece of grass that is used in a lawns so especially on football grounds you might have seen uh, on cricket ground you might have seen uh, we call it as grass or turf so here artificial grass is used is because uh, the smoothness should be maintained uh, throughout the events uh, the it uh, in this uh, lesson but uh, this uh, in this lesson uh, the author uh, uh indicates that uh, this grass heats up during summer because the, unlike uh, that of natural gas uh, this uh, grass uh, won't be cool it it heats up uh, with the uh, surrounding temperatures so astrodrome is synthetic grass so this uh, three important things four important things one is flexible pole second one horizontal bar uh, next one is uh, so that uh, inflatable uh, landing mat the uh, synthetic grass uh, astrodrome these are the important terms uh, used uh, regarding this uh, event in this lesson okay next one uh, the pole vaulting process uh, has uh, different kinds of uh, uh, stages so you please see at by 2 meter uh, height uh, so approach running will occur then planting that means uh, putting the stick uh, uh, on the ground then uh, take off uh, that is a uh, raising up will occur then they swing up you can see swinging up then uh, turning then uh, uh, then turning then finally flying up will occur then they will uh, jump over to the other side of the uh, bar so this pole vaulting process has uh, these uh, stages that is a uh, approach run plant take off swing up turn and fly away so okay so the most important person behind the success of our hero michael stone is mildred stone a mother of uh, michael stone is a mother she used to tell uh, every day different uh, stories uh, regarding uh, the successful people or successful people in pole vaulting athletic people sportsmen sports women so like that uh, she has a uh, implanted uh, uh, she has uh, founded a, a strong will power a strong determination uh, uh, stubbornness uh, in our hero uh, uh, that is uh, michael stone so she is very fair she is the one of she is the has the most important role uh, in the success of michael stone uh, mother uh, read him uh, numerous uh, stories about flying when he was growing up so mother uh, she though she was not a professional so she used to say him uh, regarding different kinds of stories and the boy got uh, interest uh, in uh, athletic events and also in a uh, uh, pole vaulting and he got a kind of desire a strong desire to become a champion in a national junior olympics that is uh, regarding uh, the uh, his uh, mother let us uh, let, let us see how what is the role of uh, his father here uh, mother uh, sowed the seeds of uh, dreaming high in the mind of uh, uh, michael stone so she was uh, a little bit uh, theoretical 
बट फादर ए वेरी प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन हिज नेम इज ब्रिट स्टोन फादर ऑफ माइकेल स्टोन ही बिल्ट अप हिज अ बॉडी हिज मजल्स एंड हिज अ पोटेंशियलिटी हिज स्ट्रेंथ सो दैट मदर्स ड्रीम द चाइल्ड कैन फील फुलफिल सो if you want something work for it father was saying is a son that if you want something work for it not simply dreaming mother uh, raised uh, the hope the ambition the desire the want of becoming a champion in pole vaulting where at the same time a father uh, Uh, he has uh, played his own role he is uh, as a practical man he used to tell uh, michael stone that if you want something work for it if you want something work for it next uh, he is a hardcore realist that means he is a practical person he took uh, those uh, dreams into a practical work he used to make a uh, uh, michael stone fit for uh, that uh, athletic event so my dear uh, students my dear children you also allow you also how to uh, practice everything along with uh, dreams simply dreams are not enough uh, dreams plus a practical approach a scheduled way of uh, uh, moving towards the success is very very important if you want to become some professional some engineer doctor lawyer or is officer so along with the dreams uh, you have to make uh, your own programs your own schedules and you have to go ahead uh, in that uh, direction let us see how michael stone has uh, improved himself personally and professionally After introducing you to Mildred Stone and Brett Stone I am introducing you to the chief main hero of that lesson that is Michael Stone uh, he is a blind pole vaulter uh, according to somebody's opinion he, the, he is a, he has a, some partial vision but uh, he is considered he was considered as a blind person i have already told you this story is not a true story it is a fiction uh, it resembles uh, some uh, blind athletes so on that uh, basis uh, some writers uh, they express their opinion that he is uh, has a uh, partial vision but not a total vision so he uh, he dreams very high uh, as per the father's guidelines as for the father's guidelines he was uh, running he was running uh, on country road country road means village road uh, village road not a concrete road uh, or a tar road uh, not a pakka road it was, it was a kacha road country road with rocks and chunks of dirt rocks and uh, pieces of uh, dirt or clods or soil so he is a uh, michael stone he was practicing running on the village road so while he was running he used to visual he used to saw, see golden lined wheat field on either side you can see in this picture golden lined wheat field in the same way the writer has described his uh, village uh, his running process and uh, he used to outrun locomotives locomotives you can see in the picture that locomotive means uh, yet no it days we call as a uh, trains this uh, he used to outrun because he practiced in such a way that his speed uh, he was picking up the speed uh, more than uh, what uh, the normal speed of a locomotive so that was uh, the strength of uh, his uh, determination and uh, the way he was uh, practicing uh, the running process so besides that uh, uh he mother's influence besides he was running that was a practical thing mother's influence on him was that uh, soaring like a bird second step first step uh, uh running second one uh, he started uh, practicing uh, jumping also uh he, while jumping he was uh, getting the dreams just like a bird is soaring bird is uh, flying up in the sky 
నెక్స్ట్ రెజిమెంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఆఫ్ ఫాదర్ సో మైకేల్స్ కోచ్ ట్రైనర్ అండ్ ఫాదర్ ఆల్ ఇన్ వన్ ఫాదర్ గైడ్ వాజ్ ఎ గైడ్ ఫర్ హిమ్ హి వాజ్ ఎ కోచ్ హి వాజ్ ఎ ట్రైనర్ బిసైడ్ దట్ హీ ఈజ్ ఎ ఫాదర్ సో హీ టోల్డ్ హిమ్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ బోత్ రన్నింగ్ అండ్ రెజిమెంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఆఫ్ వెయిట్ లిఫ్టింగ్ so dedication determination discipline these three d's made him a, a perfect professional so this uh, he practiced started practicing at a 14 year old 14 when he was 14 year old he started a, a regimented a program of a running on the country road and weight lifting uh, weight lifting here daily he is uh, raising the weight of that uh, the stones one by one so he be, so uh, because i have already told you it is a grammar event it requires uh, both uh, uh, the gymnast the energy of the gym uh, gymnast and also the caliber of an acrobat so both things are required in this game so next one how he has achieved what was that day I, we are going to see. my dear students what we have to get uh, uh, from this lesson is so he has a uh, learned he has practiced and he has ultimately fulfilled the uh, ambition of uh, his mother that is mildred stone and uh, the ambition of his father brett stone so both father and mother got uh, satisfied with that wonderful heart sun on his face he could only envision yen vision he can only see he can only visualize the fulfillment of his desire the satisfaction the smile on his mother's face why because his story has he because her story is her motivation her encouragement has a brought a success in the life of her son he knew his dad was probably smiling too even laughing but would always do that when he got excited smile and then sort of giggle what he didn't know was that his dad was hugging his wife and crying he was crying harder than mildred had ever seen before she also knew he was crying the greatest tears of all tears of pride ananda bashwal father was the actually whenever a father was got excited he used to laugh but today he is not laughing he is crying he is hugging his wife and crying a lot not in sorrow in a happiness the eternal happiness his aspirations his dreams have become successful the reason the son has uh, obeyed both uh, mother and father a gem a diamond a, a real hero michael was immediately swarmed with people swarmed means surrounded by people hugging and congratulating him on the greatest accomplishment greatest success of his life what is that success what is that success the success of becoming champion in national junior olympics national junior olympics the greatest success he has achieved so here you can see the success is a result of a, the collective effort of mother father and son a collective effort a collective effort a practice practice and uh, and uh, the motivation has built up uh, this is success so in any family if uh, the family has become a unit both parents and children they together work hard uh, for the success they definitely achieve i request both parents and children to come forward and uh, get together instead of wasting time 
in a uh, entertainment throughout the day entertainment is only you restrict for a, a certain percentage of your daily uh, that is 10% or 5% remaining you should do hard work and you should move ahead to fulfill your dreams of becoming professionals or professors or uh, the writers or sportsmen or uh, uh, the leaders of the nation i think that you have understood this lesson very well and you have got impressed so this is not the success of a common person a normal person but a blind person a blind boy has got a success because of mother's stories father's regimental military type of discipline and a son's persistent efforts okay thank you Thank mm-hmm. you.